Hi everyone, I'm Karen from Cafe Bebe, and I'm coming to you today with some top tips for newbies at Cyber Mummy and those of us who may have been around for last year's Cyber Mummy as well. There's a lot of trepidation going about the um, blogosphere these days about what to wear, how to do, how to be, what to go to at Cyber Mummy. So I thought with my infinite experience I would give you <coughs> a few tips, only five, on <coughs> how to handle this year's Cyber Mummy. My first big tip is to just relax. It is a conference. There are going to be 400 some bloggers that are there and brands and PRs and all sorts, but ultimately it's still the same blogosphere that you explore every day. It's not scary, it's not intimidating. We're all there to do the same thing, which is to learn, to have fun, to make friends, to meet old friends, and just, just to be a part of something that's pretty amazing. Um, so don't worry about it, don't stress about it, and that leads me to my second tip safety in numbers. I think you will feel much more comfortable entering the venue and standing in the queue for, for registration if you have one or two of your good friends by your side. If you haven't met anybody before, this is your very first blogger event or, or blogging thing of any kind, find some of your Twitter friends or, or some of the blogging friends you've made and ask them where could I meet you so we can go in together and I can stand with you and not feel like a billion o mates because nobody likes to come into any event on their own so I would suggest that maybe make an attempt to organize a little meetup before you come into the venue whether it be at the doors coming into the brewery or at a tube stop nearby. However you're arriving, you may just want to find one or two friends that you can all come in together and feel a little bit stronger in numbers. So safety in numbers is my second tip. The third tip is for newbies and veterans alike, and that is to knock down the walls. All of us put up some guard when we are in new situations, protect ourselves a little bit, maybe keep ourselves a little aloof because we're not entirely confident or sure about the situation. But I think you will find you will enjoy the experience a lot more if you just open yourself up to meeting new friends, new experiences, to learning new things, and to seeing all there is to see at Cyber Mummy. If you end up kind of hanging back and being real shy and waiting for things to happen to you, you might find yourself a little bit on the outside. I would also suggest to those of us who've been to Cyber Mummy before and have been to blogging events, those of us veterans who are used to things and know people, reach out to at least one or two new bloggers that you haven't met before and, and bring them into your fold. Introduce them to some of the bloggers that you're hanging out with. Um, help them to make their transition a little bit easier. That's really an important part about being a more experienced blogger is to sort of paving the path for some of the other bloggers along the way. We may not have had it done for us, but you can make a big difference to a newbie blogger if you make an effort to include them in your circle as well, which is really important. And ultimately, they're not really circles anyway. We're all in the same in the same blogosphere. We're all in the same bowl. Let's let's try to knock down some of those walls that, ooh, I'm a more experienced blogger, so I'm more special than you. We're all the same. We're all there for one reason, and that reason is to, to learn about blogging, to have fun and celebrate blogging and celebrate each other. So, newbies and veterans alike, knock down your walls. Number four, no pressure. <clears throat> there are some amazing sessions on. There are tons of sponsors who will be there. There are tons of people to meet and greet and find. But try not to put too much pressure on yourself to do, to be, to go to absolutely everything. You may find yourself completely knackered by the end of the day and completely out of the loop. So if you just let yourself sit back, if there's a session or a, a time period where there are several sessions, you don't know which one to go to maybe, um, or you really want to have a break, have a break. You don't have to attend every single session. There will be live bloggers in each of the sessions, so you don't have to worry about catching the information that you feel you may have missed. You can always go to those posts and read about the session and learn more about what you might have missed. It might be an important time to go to the recharge room, to sit and just relax, or 
to find a couple blogger friends that you were planning on meeting up with and just go through what your experiences have been so far. Just have a chat. Or you may want to just wander around the stalls and meet some of the PRs, see some of the brands on display, hand out your business cards, and, and make some new acquaintances. Do some networking. It's so no pressure. You don't have to do anything other than just be. Take it all in and decide what you want to attend. If there's something that you really don't know about, just sit back and watch it or take a friend along, but no pressure. And my last one is hugs. I'm a big fan of hugs. I'm an American. I hug all the time. Continental kissing is, that's fine as well, but I'm a hugger. And I will be at registration on um, Saturday morning. So if anybody is nervous or wary or a bit unsure, just find the lady with the bump uh, Cafe Bebe, the crazy lady with the accent, and get a hug from me. I encourage you to pass along your hugs as well, but if you need a hug, I'm here for you. So, I'm really excited to see everybody at Cyber Mummy this year. I think it's going to be an amazing event. Sean, Susanna, and Jen have, have worked so hard along with m plenty of other volunteers and helpers along the way, and this year's event will be phenomenal. So, there's my five top tips, and I can't wait to see you on Saturday. Have a great one. Bye.